stale statistics detection and extrapolation. What do those mean? Well, we collect statistics on a table, but each time we do, even though statistics are collected, when a query is run, the parsing engine says do a random AMP sample, and then they can compare the random AMP sample with the collected statistics. If it's off by about 10% or more, they assume the statistics are stale and they go with the random AMP sample. You see, they will usually take the primary index statistics to come up with table row counts. And that's what they're comparing to the random AMP sample after it does its multiplying by the number of amps and says, I think this is the answer. So if the parsing engine says, you know, I don't think this data is skewed that much and it's off by more than 10%, we're going to go with the random AMP sample. Now, extrapolation, that's an amazing thing. You may run a query that's in the future and it's going to come back with estimates. And they go, how could you possibly do that? They go, well, we know that the orders have grown by about 10% each month. You've asked for these three months. I think it's going to be this much plus the 10%. It can actually extrapolate what it thinks is going to happen in the future. Here you can see our query where we're saying select everything from the order table with the order dates between and we've got 2015 dates. But our table is actually storing data from 2014. The parsing engine is going to extrapolate and come up with statistics and say, you know, in the first three months of 2014, we were actually increasing by about 10%. We had a million orders back then. I think in 2015, if this keeps going the way it's been, I think we're actually going to have about a million orders and 100,000 extra ones. That's an example of extrapolation. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza Teradata or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned.